yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to it again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy, J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all So as y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail Today's video, we will be filling Vader up with 93 for the very first time since I got the cartoon for E85 just want to see if there's really a difference now of course you know what i'm saying on the dyno you're going to see a difference in the numbers but i'm saying i want to see if there's a difference in how the car actually feels and how it performs so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and put some 93 in the car I already ran all the e85 out so i'm going to put some 93 in the car and go for a little rip get some pulls in man and we'll see if it sounds different and if it you know what i'm saying if it pulls different so with that being said let's go ahead hit some 93 in this joint and hit the road all right, y'all currently getting at 91. I still don't know like how to feel about, like I don't like pumping with the black handle. It matches my car. I want to pump with the yellow handle over there. But you know, for the purpose of the video, we're going to see if it's actually worth it going E85 on an NA car. So that's actually another reason why I'm doing this because um, as you guys may or may not know, whenever you're full Boton and non-boosted, E85 doesn't really make that big of a difference on NA cars. So with that being said, today we're actually going to prove that. Now, we've seen a 20 horsepower gain um, from the E85. If I'm not mistaken, it made 424 on 93 and it made... 446 on e85 so it's a little bit of a horsepower gain to the wheel but like y'all know we don't know the torque numbers yet because we haven't been able to get up to um hhp and get the car re -dynoed. um so with that being said i just want to see if i'll actually be able to feel a difference on 93 versus e85 so I'm gonna get this 93 in there man and we'll hit the road y'all let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think do you think it's gonna be a big difference you think i'm actually gonna be able to tell the difference or do you think it's all cap you know what i'm saying y'all let me know all right y'all so first start up on 93 Definitely still out. <laughs> it's definitely still out. Let's go ahead, hop in, man. Hit the road. All right, y'all. Just got in the car, man. About to go ahead, hit this road, and see, man. Does you know what I'm saying? Does E85 actually make a difference, bro, in NA cars? I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. You feel me? And judging off of the numbers. That the car put down on E. Ugh. Like I say, definitely got to get the car re dynoed for sure. But just going off of the numbers that it made on E, 20 horsepower difference, not that much. You know what I'm saying? Which is apparently expected with uh, NA cars. So we're going to see, man. We're going to see how this goes, bro. I'm not 100% sure. Off the rip, like I said, the car first startup is still sorry, y'all. All right, y'all, my bad. Had to fix y'all a little bit, y'all were a little crooked. But off of the first startup, like I was saying, bro, the car, um, normally on E85, I will say the car would like pop, um, after it starts on 93, it didn't pop, it just cut on, as y'all saw. So. It definitely still pops. Um, it's crazy. We actually have a complete. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to like just make sure that the camera angle is perfect, but we are at a red light right now. So I'm gonna do a little simulation of how I launched the car at the track and see if I can actually feel like a big difference. So, uh, <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> E85 
yeah, 93 still is aggressive. <laughs> For sure. Bro, what the? F <laughs> like, bro, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I was really expecting it to feel like almost sluggish. Like, you know what I'm saying? Really and truly, I thought it was gonna feel how it felt when the car was stopped. But man, it still gets up and goes. I don't know if the camera was able to pick up the exhaust note, but it for sure still backfires like crazy on diesel, just the entire way down the block. So yeah, um, okay. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm kind of speechless right now because I was not expecting that in any way, form, or shape, bro. It, it definitely, definitely took off, for sure. Definitely took off. I can't say how fast we were going, just because I haven't crossed the Mexican border yet, but bro. While we're here, let's see if we can get some poppers. Because I legitimately just did an exhaust note, um, an exhaust review. Because a lot of you guys were asking me in the DMs, like, you know what I'm saying, for some pulls and some flybys and whatnot like that. So y'all could hear the car. Um, so I literally just did that video. If you haven't seen it already, make sure you guys go tap in. It'll be tagged or linked to the end of this video. So go watch that joint. Um, but yeah, bro, that was on E85, full tank of E. And the car was backfiring like crazy. Ever since I got it back from the tune, it's been on E85. Now, with that being said, all I had to do is add the headers to this joint. And it really woke the car up as far as, like, how loud the backfires are. So, ever since I got the car back from the tune, the backfires are longer. Like, it's like it holds it out for a longer time. So with that being said, I was like, oh yeah, it's gotta be the E85 that's causing it to like, you know what I'm saying, react like that. But bro, no, no, not at all, not at all. 93, still doing the same thing, bro. It's still backfiring like crazy, which we love. We don't, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing against, there's nothing against the backfires. We, we love the backfires, especially because they're backed by horsepower. You know what I'm saying? They're not backed by, oh yeah, my tuner went in the computer and he put in the verbal tune map and now my car goes pew, 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 pew. Nah, bruh. And again, ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? But over here, it ain't just all bark, no bite. Nah, folk, this joint bark and bite. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> so with that being said, bro, I really thought it was the E85 causing the car broke the freak out his neck bro i really need to be sliding around with like a camera on the top of the car or something like that on the side of the car to capture how many necks i grab bro honestly y'all let me know in the comment section down below if y'all would like to see a video like that um i definitely be interested in shooting that joint i do need to get a gopro bro i need to get a gopro that way I can have, in videos like these, I can have a GoPro stuck to the back of the car and it'll just be getting the audio for y'all, man, so it'll be crisp. But, yeah, bro, like, I really thought that it was only doing this because E85. Let's get a quick little launch. One more. Yeah. It just, it just roasts the tires, bro. It roasts them. Oh my God. See, this is exactly why A, I need a drag pack, and B, I got the Mickey Thompsons on the red wheels, bro, because these stock Goodyears or whatever the hell Chevy puts on these joints, they don't, they're not cutting it, bro. And I don't think they're ever going to cut it. Cause like, bro, 
even when they're hot, even say I do a burnout, whoop de whoop. Bro, these joints still spin. I can't hook with these. From a dead, uh dead stop, hell no. Nah. And then even sometimes in uh in drive like on a roll, like I'll spin still. So I don't know. It's definitely not enough. It's definitely not enough. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I know y'all heard that song. I know y'all heard. Excuse my friends, I'm sorry. But I know y'all heard that, bro. Emma, here, boy. Emma, here, this son of a gun right here. He's talking, boy. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, okay. We're obviously on the freeway now, y'all. As y'all can probably see or tell by the surroundings. Bro. Vader, bro. Vader, bro. And then, just, when it leave. You feel me? Like, when it leave, bro. When it leave, bro. <laughs> bro, when it leave, bro. Bro, if only y'all can see. <laughs> oh man, I love this car. <laughs> it's still going, bro. Like, bro, I can't even say anything. All I can do is, like, make sound effects. Because, <laughs> bro, this car, like, it brings me so much joy, bro. Y'all don't even, I don't think y'all understand that.
or the 85 it doesn't matter. Vader is a freaking beast, bro. Vader is a freaking monster, bro. Enjoyed on the underpass, bro. Oh my goodness. I can't even like fathom. Honestly, I can't even like put the words together to kind of express how I'm feeling right now. So that's why I've just been having the camera rolling, man. Just to it's my genuine reaction, bro. Honestly, I thought on 93 the car was gonna be born. <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all. I thought on 93 it was going to be boring. That's one of the reasons why I've just been consistently filling up on E85. Now I know, you know what I'm saying, on E85, it's definitely a different animal as far as speed goes. So that's another reason why I've been filling it up on E. But, bro, I really thought on 93 it was going to be boring. I thought it was going to go back to, like, the stock pops. And don't get me wrong, the stock pops are nice because... You know what I'm saying? They kind of catch you off guard. You know what I'm saying? You're not expecting it. You're not ready for it, but it happens. Um, but they're still there. <laughs> they are still there, bro. And the car still puts a smile on my face. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all, though. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I need to try putting the car in performance shift mode and then doing a roll from that. So... Y'all let me know if y'all want to see that video or if I should just do that at the crib by my, like, you know what I'm saying, dolo, not record it. Just because I feel like the car is, like, more stronger on the dig side than on the roll. Like, in the roll, as it's too now, like, stock rolls was killing Y'all know. <laughs> y'all know. But anyway, now it's, like, on the rolls, it's, like, I don't feel that much torque, you know what I'm saying, like, before on the rolls, the torque would put you back in the seat, like, legitimately, aggressively with it, too, but, after the tune, I, I noticed that it's, like, you kind of feel like you're cruising into the power band, I don't know if I'm tripping, but it legitimately, like, be feeling like I'm just cruising into the power band, Instead of actually like, you know what I'm saying, jumping in that joint and smacking it. You feel me? So, with that being said, y'all, I don't really know. Um, I'm a little torn. Maybe I'm tripping. You know what I'm saying? But, I don't know. So, I'm going to try doing that in performance shift mode and see if it makes a difference. Um, but, yeah, without further ado, y'all, that's actually going to sum it up for this video. Like, is, does E85 make a drastic difference on NA cars? Honestly, from what I've... Uh, you know felt from just driving a car around bro. No, not at all. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It feels You know, it feels Just like it did on E. Um, I guess you could say E85 was a little bit more rowdy. Yeah, E85 definitely burns faster. Yeah, but Still pops Still pulls it still spins the tires. So I'm happy um, but yeah, man, that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up, man. And, uh, yeah, we'll see y'all in the next one, man. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. Peace.